Well, it's everything I thought it was going to be and more. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of hard to see what it's going to be like when I get back to New York. And um all my friends seen it have seen it already and everything. I haven't even called and everything. I want it to be a big surprise when I get back. But it's hard to I don't know. I don't know what it feels. I mean, you know, this is a feeling I never felt before after doing a film or doing a motion picture or doing anything professionally. Now I have feelings that I never even had before. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and have to make sure that I'm still in California, make sure it's not a big dream. Pinching yourself a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a kid from Harlem. Right. But you started dancing at a very early age. How young? About three or four, I guess. Dancers in your family? No, no entertainers at all. Well, what was it then that uh, just, just something? Just something. I, was, I mean, you know, out of the neighborhood, I was always the one to win all the dance contests, every block party we have. Uh, every time we even had parties, you know, the blocks would dance against each other. And then, and then at the end of the summer, we would all go from one area to the Bronx and compete against the Bronx and dance at the Bronx like that. And, you know, I would always be the one to go, you know, only fella. I'd be like the only fella dancing. I, all the rest of the competition would be girls. The other guys beat up on your lot? No, they got beat up, though. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> right on. Yeah, I still had that, I had that Harlem instinct, so I was always fight. You know, I would fight a lot every time. they call me names a lot, you know, but I dealt with it. It, didn't, it never discouraged me. Because for everybody who would mess with me and uh, call me names for, you know, they, hey, look at that faggot dance and everything. I'd always have about six or seven guys behind me who respected me for dancing who would help me out. That's fantastic. That is really great to hear. Was there any particular dancer who inspired you? Well, um, watching Ben Vereen, um, one, uh, I seen a special one time, Cheryl Ladd and Ben Vereen, her first special. And uh, that, that's what really inspired me to start, you know, getting more into cultural dance instead of just street dancing and disco dancing. But um, I've been dancing ever since I can remember, so nobody really inspired me. I always had my family behind me telling me that that's what I was going to be when I got older because that's what I did best. So. Would you like to have gone to a school like the Performing Arts School? I did go to Performing oh, Arts. Oh, you did go to Yes, it. I went for a year and got kicked out. Are you serious? I swear. I got kicked out of Performing Arts my first year. I had problems with the teachers, and every time I would get upset, I'd just lose my head, and I'd curse them out. And I, went, I had problems, yeah, and I got kicked out of the high school Performing Arts. That's what made me feel so good about doing fame, because when I left there, all my friends were like, I don't know what it was. They were brainwashed that when you leave that school, there's no way to go but down. But um, after doing this film, I said, yeah, well, I, I proved them to them as well as to myself. Well, the fact that you had been there, did that help you get this part? No. Uh, they, did, um, they didn't know uh, that I hadn't been to performing arts. I, I got the part through Julia Richmond High School when Alan Parker held a big audition for all the kids, about 2,500 kids early in the morning. I had been absent that day from school. And the next day I came and they said, Gene, you missed a big audition. They had a part there that would have fit you if you would have came. And so um, about n two days later, all the kids who had, excuse me, all the kids who had um, auditioned had got called back, most of them. And uh, I went just to be a little dancer, you know, uh, extra. I didn't go for reading any parts. And they said, well, why don't you read for Leroy anyway, Gene? You're the only one out of the school that will really fit that part. So I read for it. And one thing led to another, and she said, well, I want you to read for Alan. Margie Simpkins was her name. So I went to read for Alan. Then Alan Parker sent me to read for Alan Marshall. And Alan Marshall sent me to dance for Louis Falco. And on my birthday, when I turned 17, is the day they called me and told me that I made the part, Leroy. That was a present, wasn't it? That was it? my best birthday present. I didn't even want nothing else after that. <laughs> So your own life then really paralleled Leroy. That's right. And did you have a teacher like Ann Mira? Many. <laughs> many. Uh, I had many incidents, that scene where I stormed out the room. I never broke up anything throughout in the school, but I had many incidents where I lost my head and, you know, said awful things to the teachers. I had to bring my parents to school. Many, you know, 
Do you regret that? I regret the attitude that I had on school and, and most of my teachers, but that was, uh, I don't regret leaving performing arts or getting kicked out. In fact, that I'm glad that I got kicked out instead of leaving and make my interview so much better. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gene, it's nice talking with you. I've really enjoyed the interview. Thank you. And I really enjoyed you on the, on the screen. Thank Same. you. Thanks so much. Good luck to you. A few little reactions. Hang on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, questions? Jean, you're a kid from Harlem. You started dancing when you were very young. The other kids beat you up a lot. Were you from a family of dancers? Ever tempted to quit dancing? Do you think that a school like the performing arts is a good idea? Did you have teachers like Ann Mira when you were at performing arts? You have any regrets about getting kicked out? What was it like all these dance contests that you would enter? Okay. Was there anything else that you can remember that I asked? I think that'll get it. Mm. I think mostly that'll get it. Okay.